Hi everyone. So um, we'll be demoing uh, what's called the uh, Shaytable 2 XY configuration. The Shaytable 2 is one of our uh, most popular of our Shaytable products, and it's been used for a very, very long time. But most people don't know that you can you, you can stack two of them together for uh, XY motion. Uh, so right now we have uh, the two identical tables, and they're connected using our our newer amplifier called the Ampac PWM amplifier. The bottom x-axis table is connected to our Quantstar Q8 USB and the top y-axis table is connected to the Q2 USB. So these are both USB uh, based deacquisition cards that can be uh, easily connected to a desktop PC or a laptop if you want a more portable solution. So each table is uh, has an encoder on it to measure the position as well as an accelerometer. So you can measure the X and Y acceleration of the top stage and the positions. And what we'll be doing is uh, demonstrating uh, the three like, standard controllers that are supplied with the system using MATLAB Simulink to work for control software. Uh, that'll be um, the sine wave, so manual sine wave. The second controller will be sweep or sine chirp. And the third one will, will be an earthquake. So um, we'll be going through the three demos now. So the first one we'll do is running the manual sine wave. Uh, right here we have, make sure you run the setup script before. So I'm just gonna run that very quickly. This loads all the necessary parameters in your MATLAB workspace. Then we'll open up the Q sine XY simile diagram. So here's a simile diagram. And as you can, then we have uh, and as some scopes all that, so you can monitor the position and acceleration of the table. Uh, you want to go to Quark and build. This will generate the real-time code. So all the implementation implementation is done through the Quark uh, Rapid Controls prototyping software. After it's done building, you can go and click on Quark Start. So now I'm, uh, and you have control over each sine wave. So it's commanding a sine wave on the base x axis and the top y axis table. Right now, and you can change this on the fly. So you can change commands on the fly. If I want to, for example, uh, stop the x axis table or stop the y or slow it down, then I can do so. So right now, I'll, I'll change the profile for the x-axis, speed up the y by increasing the frequency. So you can change the motion profile on the fly, all through the MATLAB Simic environment. And when you're done, just click on stop and you're ready to go and start a new, um, a new experiment. So that's for the sine wave. Now, if you're looking at doing, for example, um, if you had a structure on here and you want to view the structure dynamics or find the transfer function with structure, you would do a sine sweep or, or a sine chirp. So we have a file for that as well called the QSweep XY. So here's a systemic model. Again, make sure you go Quark build, but I've already built the code, so you don't need to redo that. So I'm just going to go ahead and start the controller. So this will be a sine wave of the same amplitude that keeps increasing in frequency. And you can change all these files, right? All these controllers are modifiable. So if you want to change the, the sweep, you could. And you can view the position and acceleration on the summing scopes. So as you can see, the frequency is increasing as the time goes. So you can, so using this, you, again, you can find the uh, the modes and the natural frequency of the structure, for, for example. So we did sine, we did sine sweep. Uh, the next one, which is, um, is the earthquakes. So we have a, uh, a file called the QScale file, which allows you to basically take an actual earthquake record and scale it down. 
So if we open up the make quake file here, we have a couple of supplied earthquakes, the Kobe, Northridge, um, um, Cape Benocino. Uh, so we'll just run the Northridge um, from California. So if I run this script, it'll open up the figure showing you the actual earthquake acceleration record, followed by uh, the actual earthquake position and how it scales it down. So after running this, you're ready to go ahead and run the earthquake profile on the table. So I'm opening up the Q earthquake XY summit diagram here. And I've already built the code, so I'm just going to go ahead and go to court and start. And this will command the position calculated by Qscale to the X and the Y axis table. All the data is saved to um, MATLAB data files, MET files. There we go. Controller stops automatically. So that was an example of an of the North Northridge earthquake running uh, on the X and Y stages. Each record is different because uh, uh, the records that you download from Pure Strong Motion have X, Y, and Z uh, profiles for each of the ground um, tremors. You can also do some FFT analysis uh, if you want to find the power spectrum. We have files for that. So if you want to look at the X and Y position, you can run this script and it will give you the power spectrum of uh, the X and the Y position. So that gives you kind of an overview of the three main controls you can do on, uh, on the XY configuration.